On note 7-3, we're going to be graphing rational functions again, just like 7-2, but this time we're going to be seeing, um, we're going to have some holes. Okay, it says, whenever a factor cancels out, so remember the first step is to factor, the top and the bottom. If a factor cancels out, it says an undefined point in the function occurs, which is called a removable discontinuity which is also considered a hole in your graph. Okay, so instead of it being a closed point, it would be an open point. Okay, all right, so the steps for graphing any rational function, we're factoring all parts, which means factor your numerator, factor your denominator. Then you're finding the domain using the original function before anything cancels out. Okay, so make sure that you're using the original before it cancels out. Um, if a factor cancels out, a hole occurs. You're going to set your canceled factor equal to zero, and this will give you the x-coordinate of your hole. Once you have done that, you're going to substitute the x-coordinate into your reduced function to find the y-coordinate. Okay, it says use the reduced form if anything cancels to find all of the following. Okay. All right, so example one, first step is to factor the top and factor the bottom. Notice the top is difference of squares. We kind of talked about this on 7, 2. That 4 is the constant first, so you should have a 2 plus x and then a 2 minus x. So not x plus 2, x minus 2. Those are different. And then your denominator is 2 plus x. Notice these are the same here. So these two will cancel out. You'll just be left with 2 minus x. Okay, so your domain, you're always looking at the original for your domain. So we're looking at this original function here. Remember, a domain of any rational function is all real numbers except what causes your denominator to be zero. If you look at the original denominator, negative two would cause that to be zero, which would be undefined. So x cannot equal negative two. From here, we're using the reduced form. So from here on, you're using the reduced form because we've canceled out. All right, the vertical asymptote is where um, it causes your denominator to be zero. If you look at the reduced form, though, there's no more fraction. We don't have a fraction anymore. So there's not going to be a vertical asymptote. Okay? There's not a horizontal asymptote because we don't have a numerator and a denominator. We do have a hole, though, because on our original, we had a rational function, but now we have linear, 2 minus x. So the factor that canceled was 2 plus x. To find the hole, you're setting that factor that canceled equal to 0, and you're going to solve for x. So subtract 2, and the x value of your whole will be negative 2. Now, the whole is an actual ordered pair. So once you find your x value of your, your whole, you're going to plug it in to find the y value. If you look back up at the top, you're substituting the x-coordinate into your reduced form to find your y or your y-coordinate. So when I plug that in to my reduced, it's 2 minus a negative 2. And that would give you a positive 4. So there's your y value of your whole. Now, x-intercept, you're setting your numerator on the reduced, you're setting the numerator equal to zero and you're solving for x. So if I set two minus x equal to zero and I subtract two, you 
we'll get negative x equals negative 2, so x would equal positive 2. Remember I told you to write it as an ordered pair for your x-intercept. Y-intercept, remember you're plugging in a 0 in place of x. We're still using the reduced. So y equals 2 minus 0, which would give you 2. So your y-intercept is 2. Okay, so remember, very important that you are from vertical asymptotes all the way down to y-intercept, you're using reduced form. The only thing you're using the original on is for your domain at the very beginning. All right, so let's start graphing. We don't have a vertical and horizontal asymptote, so we don't need to draw that. We have a hole at negative 2, 4. Negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. A hole is an open point. It doesn't include it. That's why it's open. Then we have an x-intercept at positive 2. And we have a y-intercept at 2. Okay, so those should be closed points because those are not holes. All right, so if you notice, if you connect your points here, it's a straight line. It should be a straight line because once we canceled out our factor, it became a linear function because they canceled out. But we still had a hole because we started out with rational and we canceled out a factor. Okay? So make sure if you have a hole, it should be an open point. All right, let's take a look at example two. So first step is to factor everything. So I can't factor x plus four. I can factor the denominator. That would be x plus four and x minus four. Notice x plus four cancels. I don't have anything on top, so I have to put a 1, because it canceled out, over x minus 4. Remember, your domain, we're looking at the original. Okay, so before we cancel out, let's look at this one, since it's factored. We're trying, on domain, it's all real numbers except what causes your denominator to be 0. So x cannot equal negative 4 or positive 4. Both of those. From here down, we are using the reduced after you cancel out, which is this one. So your vertical asymptote is what causes your denominator to be 0. We're looking at the reduced one. So the only thing that we cause our denominator to be 0 would be 4. So we only have one vertical asymptote. It's at 4. Horizontal, we're checking the degree. Remember, if there is a constant on top and no variable, there's a degree of 0. The degree of the denominator here would be a 1. 0 is less than 1, which means your horizontal asymptote is at y equals 0. Okay, we did have a hole because we had a factor that canceled. So we're setting the factor that canceled, which was x plus 4, equal to 0, and that will give us our x value of the hole. So we're subtracting 4. So you get x equals negative 4, which is your x value. To find your y value, you're plugging in to the reduced 1 over... Negative 4 is our x minus 4. That will be 1 over negative 8. So that's our y value of our whole. x-intercept, remember you're setting your 
numerator equal to zero. We're still looking at the reduced form. Notice our numerator is one. There is no x. We talked about that on 7-2. If your numerator is just a constant with no x, there will not be an x-intercept. So you just write none. The y-intercept, we're plugging in a zero for x into our reduced. So one over zero minus four. So we're gonna get negative one fourth for our y-intercept. X is zero, y would be negative one fourth. Okay, so we're gonna graph. We do have asymptotes on this one. So it crosses the x at four for the vertical asymptote. And then we have a horizontal one at y equals zero, which is your x axis. We're gonna plot our points. Our hole is negative four, negative one eighth. So I'm just gonna draw an open point there. Remember your hole should be an open point. We do not have an x-intercept. And our y-intercept is 0, negative 1 fourth. Okay, so notice we only have one vertical asymptote, which means we only have a graph on the left side of that and a graph on the right side. So only two parts. Notice that I'm going to have to go through these two points and I have to approach the vertical and the horizontal asymptote. So on that left side, it should look similar to that because it's going through those points, but it can't cross the x-axis there. There's not an x-intercept. Now, notice on the right side of our vertical asymptote, we don't have a graph there, so we need to figure it out. So let's plug in a test point of, that's five. We need to figure out, since our horizontal asymptote's at zero, we need to figure out if it's gonna be a positive y value when we plug it in or a negative. So if we plug in, when you're plugging in, you want to plug into the origin or into the reduced. So that would be one over five minus four, which would give you one over one, which is one. So it's going to give us a positive there. So we will have to approach the vertical and horizontal asymptote like that. So if you only have one vertical asymptote then you should have only two parts to your graph, one on the left side, one on the right side. So lots of steps. You need to learn your steps on finding how to find the hole, how to find the x-intercept, how to find the y-intercept. If you have any questions, you need to be coming in before school or action.